Dear colleagues, I am Dr. Anil Shah from Surya Kantai Hospital. Our aim is to put big IOL through small incision to get benefit of natural crystalline lens. This is very old video on 25th July, which has been awarded by Maharashtra Ophthalmological Society as Best Research Award in Mumbai. This is my snare used for bisection. And this is a large optics IOL, 7.5 mm optics with 13 point 13 mm overall diameter. These are the various advantages of large optics I will, which I will be highlighting in detail. Now this is a snare which is used for bisection. This is very old video. So here we have used a 5.5 mm size incision. The snare goes into the anterior chamber and engages the intumescent cataract and it divides into two halves very easily. This is another hard cataract occupying full anterior chamber and it has been again bisected with the snare. Here the incision size is 5.5 or 6 millimeter as this is an old recording. Now the large half of the nucleus are separated. and they are removed by Macpherson forcep. I have been using snare since 1999, almost 18 years when I am using. See this is an Occuflex lens made by IOCare, large optics IOL. This is foldable single piece biconvex UV blocking IOL. The length is 13 millimeter, A constant is 11.8, power is 20.5, but main important thing is optic diameter which is 7.5 millimeter. This is a big optics, large optics IOL. Rainer design. I have done almost 50 cases during that period. Now it has been folded by Macpherson forceps and inserted into the anterior chamber. Now in the bag implantation is possible. Visco is injected and the inferior heptics goes into the back. Again chamber is made deep. And the superior heptics also goes into the back. The large optics eye oil has got many advantages. There is no de decentration, there is no pupillary capture, there is no glare at night driving. It covers the colobomatous area, so it can be used in congenital coloboma. It occupies full capsular bag, so it prevents PCO formation because there is hardly any space left. The posterior surface of the lens is snugly fitting with the posterior capsule to say there is no space to grow uh, for epithelium to cause posterior capsule opacification. So I have done almost 50 cases but hardly there, there are any patient with PCO. Now this in the back implantation of the another heptic is done. Because the lens is occupy, uh, is fitting snugly into the bag, delayed posterior chamber com posterior segment complications are also rare. This is another patient.
the lens is slightly sticky so it got at, at adherent to the macpherson forceps now another other heptics is also inserted in the back though the pupil is constricted insertion is easy See, this is an in the bag implantation of the inferior hepti uh, superior heptics, which is the pupil is circular. Now, this is a big foldable IOL which we are using. It has been folded by MacPherson forceps, passed horizontally in the tunnel, and then rotated. Now we are trying to make 3.8 millimeter injector for foldable IOL. Then again, a hydrophobic IOL. And in that, we are also trying to make a multifocal lens so as to get benefit in SICS. Thanking you very much for your kind attention. Hope you like this technique and this invention.